Hey everyone, Dr. Nolman, board certified foot and ankle specialist. Have a patient here today. He had presented after someone had stepped on his toe with a soccer cleat on two separate occasions due to persistent drainage and pain associated with the toe. It was recommended that the entire toenail be removed. This is called a total nail avulsion. This instrument is an elevator. It's being used to free up the underside of the toenail where it attaches to the nail bed or the skin underneath the toenail. This procedure is performed utilizing local anesthetic, so the toe is numbed up before the procedure is commenced. This procedure should be completely pain-free. The more proximal aspect of the nail is freed up as well. A trick that I learned for making it easier to remove the toenail is actually to just split it into two smaller pieces. Now with some gentle force, the toenails removed from the remaining attachments of the nail folds. Another reason to highly recommend this procedure is if there is persistent drainage weeks or months after the injury, we need to make sure that there's no ulceration underlying the toenail. Uh, one fear is that because of the uh, because of the distance between the nail bed and the bone underneath is so uh, narrow, uh, there is concern potentially for what we describe as direct extension osteomyelitis, which is bone infection. Fortunately, for the case of this patient, uh, there was no underlying laceration or wound other than just a little bit of uh, expected trauma from removing the toenail itself. Interestingly, there was another layer of very thin toenail here, which admittedly did look like some skin, but upon further inspection was noted to be a remnant piece of toenail. This was also gently freed up, and what you'll see here is that it is successfully removed. So this patient's toenail will grow back eventually. Unfortunately, there can be, these, be some disturbance to how the toenail looks, but this is simply the result of the trauma to the toenail itself, and unfortunately, nothing can be done to prevent uh, any abnormal growth after the fact. Some patients may also be at risk for a toenail fungus because of injury to the toenail itself, which is treatable, but not easily treated. We'll see, we'll apply a dressing in just a second here. Patients generally do quite well post-operatively. Strong pain medications are rarely necessary after a procedure like this, and it is exceedingly rare to see an infection because of the procedure. Therefore, prophylactic antibiotics are not recommended. I'll usually do a post-op check approximately two weeks post-op and it can take a good three to four weeks for the toe to completely calm down from the procedure itself. Please let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. And remember to like and subscribe for more content.